What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and we're going to finish the week with some of the most absurd tales about the Joker, and maybe a movie review by me. Uh, many of you have asked uh, me to do a Joker movie review. I normally don't like them, um, because I feel like everyone interprets movies differently, and I don't want you know my opinion to, to color anybody um, in the wrong direction. Uh, for the film, but it's opening weekend's over. If you want me to, uh, you know, leave a comment down below, and I'll do it at um, three o'clock today or four o'clock today. Um, I'll, I'll see what's going on. Way too terrifying. Joker viewers around the world walk out of movie theaters and urge cinemas to ban the film, saying it glamorizes crime. And deals with the mental health issue in a triggering way. Well, the word triggering is triggering to me, I have to say. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Manscaped.com. Many of you have reached out to me to let me know that you've started using their crop mop ball wipes. And you love feeling clean and those enjoying that area are also enjoying it well now they also have the perfect package 2.0 which features the plow 2.0 it's the very first safety razor i've ever used and it's actually feeling really classy now this package of course has all sorts of things from the preserver to the reviver you get the lawnmower 2.0 which is your waterproof electric trimmer you get the crop preserver this is your anti-chafing ball deodorant you get the crop reviver which is of course that ball toner and refresher and the magic mat which is a set of three disposable shaving mats you also get the shed and manscaped boxers for free they also have a replenishment plan that will keep you stocked with razors and you save 25 percent on orders instantly versus the single product purchase you get 137 dollars worth of product for just 74.99 subscribers also get new replacement blade refill for their trimmer delivered to their door every three months entirely hassle free so head over to manscaped.com use my promo code in the description below and get those balls clean look the film i don't believe would register as a, a violent film in just about any description of the word perhaps you could argue that it is graphic momentarily but it's no different than what you would see on any pg rated television show um i'm not sure that this particular film it's like people just continue to lie about this film to push their narrative for example there's the whole incel thing. All this talk about he's going to be a hero for incels, blah, 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 blah. Well, in the film, Joker's love life is not really touched on in any specific way. It's just one of the many ingredients in the stew of his insanity, as somebody put it on Twitter. Um, they don't really talk about it. I mean, he has kind of a, a girl that he thinks he likes. But it's like for but a moment in the film, it turns out basically everybody was lying about that because at no point did I think of Joker as somebody who's a, a dude that has trouble, pr problems with women. He is a tragic character who has problems with everything, who just wants to be cared about, who just wants to be loved, um, but has nothing to do with... Um, uh, physical relations not that i ever saw um some moviegoers bashed joker on twitter and said they walked out my guess is they lied um joker is continuing to stir controversy on its opening weekend after some fans stormed out of theaters around the world saying the movie was too disturbing and triggering i don't believe you i don't believe you i've seen the film my wife has seen the film in fact spoiler alert from my review my wife liked it even better than i did and i tell you what my friend she's no incel joker is continuing yes the r-rated supervillain flick smashed october 
opening day box office records after taking home 40 million in domestic sales on Friday and is on pace for an eye-watering 92 million weekend total. But not everyone is embracing the dark uh, film, which sees Joaquin Phoenix portray Arthur Fleck, an embattled clown who later transforms into Batman's most iconic nemesis. Um, that's not really what the film's about at all. Um, there is a tie in the Batman, um, but I, th th there's at no point any reference to Batman. In fact, this film takes place many years before Batman even exists. One fan wrote on Twitter, literally just walked out of a screening of Joker. By the way, if you call it a screening, that means you didn't pay to see it and that you're part of the press or you got free tickets. Nobody calls it a screening who bought a ticket. Way too terrifying to be in there with all that's going on. The way the movie glamorizes behavior, bad behavior, and mental health issues. Others have gone as far as a call the, for the movie to be banned from theaters, saying that it promotes this and could inspire other bad behavior. Oh my God, could you be any more desperate website? Get a, enough with the ads. Thus far, opening weekend, there have been no reports of any bad behavior at any screenings across the nation that went on high alert and beefed up security at all theaters, which was ridiculous, completely unfounded, and the fault of the click-desperate media and no one else. In Huntington Beach, California, one theater canceled two screenings Thursday night after receiving a non-specific threat. Police said Friday showings have resumed as scheduled. In New York City, there were uh, a response to screenings after one audience member sparked fears by spitting on others and clapping loudly every time the Joker um, ended somebody, which seems odd because without being too specific about the film, this isn't, I wouldn't say a spoiler, um, there's very few deletions by the Joker, and most of them don't happen to well into the third act, probably, or the second half of the film. So I'm not sure how much of a problem this dude was. Um, however, uh, this theater goer here could just have been somebody who is mentally ill. Um, you know, $92 million in ticket sales means millions of people saw this film. And, of course, one or two of them probably have some sort of issues. I bet you will never find that out. Fearing he had ill intentions, he was escorted out of the theater. A witness reported that the man had poured a bottle of tequila into his slushie before the movie began. Okay, so he was drunk. Now I get it. Okay, so they did report that. So, nothing. I walked out of this Joker movie. Ban this movie. It's a psychological approach on the mind. Would have walked out of the Joker after an hour if the missus would have let me. Don't do it, folks. White dude next to me. By the way, this guy appears to be white as well. Uh, walked out of the Joker in the last few minutes of the movie. Had me a little shook. Maybe he had to go to the bathroom. That happens. Katie Carter, I've never walked out of a movie before Joker, but I came very close. So you didn't. Last laugh. Joker sets a $40 million opening day record. Unruly man terrifies patrons at Joker screening tonight at 9 p.m. Uh, by the way, the guy was just drunk. That's all it was. This guy, this is the guy who spent our entire screening spitting at people and clapping whenever the Joker did something. Security escorted him out, escorted him out after the third audience. After a third of the audience fled out of fear that he'd start hurting people. I don't believe you. I don't believe that a third of the audience was afraid of a drunk guy. He looks like he peed his pants. Is that what's going on there? Or are those just camo shorts? This is the guy who calmly confronted the guy and de-escalated the situation until security came. Coming out, everybody was shaking his hand and calling him a hero. I asked for his name. He said V for Vegas. Not all heroes wear capes, folks. I'm not sure who it is. The, the dude with the do-rag, it looks like. I thought only white people wanted to see the Joker. 
Nerves were already on edge because of you, the media, by the way. After the much anticipated flick, after calls for what? Nowhere was that done. The DC Comics arch-villain is believed to be a magnet for unhinged incels. No, he isn't. Nobody believes that. No, There's literally no evidence of that. Nobody's posted it. They say, oh, this thing happened in Colorado. That was bad. Yeah, but, I mean, it was never actually officially tied to it, and nobody ever actually, you know, the guy who did it didn't say the movie inspired him to do it. But we're just going to throw it out there and say that it was. Police said no official report. Oh, he was probably just kicked out. He was probably just kicked out because he's drunk, like an idiot. Joker delivers largest October opening ever with $93.5 million. Shocking. This weekend saw the Warner Brothers DC Comics adaptation. By the way, people will see this movie more than once. Mark my words. I'd see it again. Maybe not full price, but a matinee. Joker delivered the largest October domestic opening weekend of all time and the fourth largest opening ever for an R-rated feature. The film was number one, the number one movie domestically and overseas, kicking things off with 234 million global launch. With an estimated 93 and a half million, Warner Brothers Joker delivered the largest October domestic opening ever, topping the 80.25 million for Venom. It didn't just beat Venom, it destroyed it. It it outsold it by what? Almost 20%. Let's call it 15% higher. And Sunday's official numbers aren't really even in yet. Not to mention coming very close to the 93.8 million for Justice League in 2017. That was a disaster. Which it could very easily top once actuals come in on Monday. The Joker's performance is also the fourth largest domestic opening ever for an R-rated film. And comes up just shy of being the fourth rated film to have 100 million plus opening. Heading into the weekend, film had already broken a, a record, becoming the widest October opening ever, playing at 4,300 locations, and on Thursday night, delivered an October record for preview grosses, bringing 13.3 million. Opening day audiences gave the film a B plus cinema score, with the under 35 set giving it an A minus. To go along with a solid critical opinion, 69% of on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is a joke. It's a site for hacks to spread their political ideology. It has absolutely no value whatsoever, but okay. The film holds a 91% audience score. By the way, I'm curious what it is now. Yep, 91% still. Okay. On 14,000 ratings. So it'll probably stay over 90%. Joker shatters box office records despite its controversial depiction of bad behavior. Says who? Says the millions of people that went and saw it and loved it? Or says the media desperate for clicks? How about here's CNN. Joker, the film about a marginalized clown who goes on a rampage is facing a wave of criticism. He doesn't go on a rampage. Again, that's just flat out lie about the film. Never happened. A young man who was loudly cheering and applauding on screen uh, sent some people heading toward the exits. He was drunk. He was an idiot. It happens. This is what happens when movie theaters started serving booze. It's way too terrifying. We talked about that one, of course. Joker was an excellent film. I highly recommend seeing it. Is it the best movie ever? Of course not. Will some people out there not like it? Sure. I liked it. My wife liked it. Maybe you'll hear my review at 4 o'clock. I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Above, you'll find some links to watch more videos, as well as a nice big button to subscribe, which I hope you'll do. If you did enjoy it, make sure before you go that you leave a like and a comment on the video because you are the number one reason this channel continues to grow, and I appreciate you.